In this example, we want to analyze the following circuit and see how it's going to behave as a function of time. We have a series circuit with a capacitor of capacitance 10 to the minus 5 farads, a resistor of 300 ohms, and an inductor of 0.2 henrys. But initial charge on the capacitor, that's our initial condition, is Q is 10 to the minus 6 coulombs at the start, and there's no initial current. We want to find the charge at any time, which involves solving a second order equation. So let's first write out this equation. We should know that for circuits comes down to the inductance times the second derivative of the charge plus the resistance times the first derivative plus one over the capacitance times the charge itself equals zero because there's no external voltage. So let's write in our numbers here. We have 0 0.2 times the second derivative plus 300 times the first derivative plus 10 to the fifth times Q is zero. And we want to solve this, so let's start by looking for the characteristic equation. 0 0.2 r squared plus 300 r plus 10 to the fifth. And that might factor, but I'm going to go with using the quadratic formula instead just to make sure this works out correctly. So I will get that my roots r are at negative 300 plus or minus the square root of 300 squared minus four times 0.2 times 10 to the fifth, all over 0 0.4. So minus 300 over 0 0.4, plus or minus the square root of, that's going to be a 90,000, minus four times 0.2 is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 times 10 to the fifth is 80,000, all over 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is 2 fifths. This will be a negative 5 halves times 300 plus or minus a 5 halves times the square root of 10,000, which that's 100. So I will get negative 5 halves times 300 is negative 750 plus or minus 5 halves times 100, which is 5 times 50 or 250. So I get two roots at r equals negative 500 and r equals negative 1,000. So this is an overdamped system. We have two different real roots. And so then my general solution will be C1 e to the minus 500 t plus C2 e to the minus 1,000 t. And my initial conditions are q of 0, this is q of t, is 10 to the minus six, and Q prime of zero is zero because there's no initial current. So that means that C1 plus C2 is 10 to the minus sixth. And if I differentiate negative 500 C1 times one minus 1000 C2 times one again is zero. Solving the second equation out tells me that C1 is twice C2 with a negative sign on it. Add over the 1,000, divide by 500. And putting that up in here tells me that negative 2 C2 plus C2 equals 10 to the minus 6th. So C2 is negative 10 to the minus 6th, giving then that C1 must be 2 times 10 to the minus 6th. And so my solution that I get here is Q of t is 2 times 10 to the minus 6th e to the minus 500 t minus 10 to the minus 6th e to the negative 1000 t. Or if you want to simplify it out, you could pull out the 10 to the minus 6 to the front, 2 e to the minus 500 t minus e to the minus 1000 t. And that is a function for the charge on the capacitor or in the circuit at any given moment t which is what the problem asked us to solve.